Alright you bastards, this is some Belgian Prepper and today we're going to talk about self-defense uh, with blank pistols. But before we do that, uh, if you're interested in uh, detective stories, this is the first part of an 11 part series called Bloody Crosses and uh, something that I wrote and yeah, if you're interested it will be down in the description if you the link. So blank pistols, uh, many people, uh, especially uh, I would say Americans would say, why would you ever need blank pistols? That's of no use, get a real gun. But um, I'm from Belgium and we, the weapon laws are very strict down here. So it's not easy to get a gun like in America. So before you go in a rant or put it in the comments that it's no use, uh, don't forget I live in Europe, in Belgium, and gun laws are very different than in other places. Uh, now that that's settled, watch the point of... Uh, blank pistols. Well, the thing is, you it would be useful for several reasons. The first reason is they look very, very, uh, how do you say this, realistic. Uh, by the way, uh, these are not loaded, if you, if you think about that. So, just to show you off that uh, how realistic uh, a gun like this can look, the only reason you could see that, uh, that this would be a blank pistol from uh, the perspective of uh, somebody who is pointed at is uh, here the top uh, usually there is a gas ventile where the ex where the expanding gas could escape so this thing will not blow up because the barrel is closed so that's the thing of a blank pistol it does not shoot a bullet out of the out of the cartridge as you can see it is just uh, sealed up with a little piece of plastic and yeah then the the expanding gas is going through this and it will be used to to cycle the gun by using the gases as blowback so that's uh, one of the reasons uh, that you could uh, use this uh, you could get this one because you do not need a permit for this uh, especially like people uh, before uh, a disaster uh, or a social collapse it could be problematic even more problematic to get a gun because of government restrictions, uh, especially during a civil war, a, a regular war, or some other reasons that the government says no more, uh, it will make it more difficult to get guns, or because uh, real parts or ammunition is uh, uh, hard to get. That's also some a good reason to get one of these. You do not, you like I said, you do not need a permit for this, uh, so everybody can get one into their house. Uh, next thing is, uh, if you. If somebody breaks into your prop onto your property or your house, uh, these things uh, look and sound very realistic. So the moment you hear somebody burglaring uh, or a sound, and you shoot and uh, you make a sh uh, you let a shot out with this, uh, no uh, no good how do you say this? No rational perpetrator would be in their mind to go further because yeah, people think. Uh, during uh, during gunfight, I just go in blazing guns. But no, in reality, the moment uh, even this is even true for a uh, hard trained uh, hard trained uh, military. The, there is a certain uh, thing that happened during the Falklands War. There was a group of uh, commandos, uh, para commandos, uh, reaching a machine gun post nest, and this machine gun was firing, but it was not in their direction. But from the moment it started firing. The whole squad just went down like they are trained to. And yeah, even though it was not firing to their direction, everybody where they still was waiting. And these were peop the people who were training for this. So yeah, imagine some burglar who is... Burglars uh, do have a cowardly intention because they are tend to steal something without uh, losing anything or getting hurt. So from the moment they will hear a shot, they get resistance and they will back off, usually back off, I would say. So yeah, it's not in every case. Sometimes there are hardcore gangsters or something. But even then, these guys who have experience with uh, gunfights will think twice before moving forward. So this will either uh, uh, make the perpetrator back off or buy you enough time to get some help. Uh, which is also a good thing because this makes a lot of noise. So if you, sh if you shot this into your house, there's a big chance your neighbors will hear it. They will call the police or they will 
tend to help. So if the neighbor has a real gun, so that could be problematic for the perpetrator or the trespasser. So that's something that you can think about uh, by doing this. Uh, next thing is, if you... I know this scenario would sound a little bit ridiculous to a lot of people, but if you are surrounded by marauders or a gangs or you're outnumbered, let's say that, and you you try to back them off with a few uh, blank shots and they still get you, yeah, in a real gun, uh, after a real gunfight, uh, emotions are running high, adrenaline is flowing, uh, people are angry that they're fi being fired upon, but if you, if they realize that you did not fire to real, real uh, bullets at them, they might go easy on you. That's, I know it's a hard, it's a hard fetch scenario, but it's it's very possible. If there is cool-headed guy, we say, "Oh, he was not. He was just trying to scare us. Maybe we will not hurt him too much, or or let him go, or whatever." So that's just a small thing to think about. And the last uh, thing that is a very good benefit of this is safety. Why safety? Because uh, a lot of accidents happens with real guns. So what will happen? First, what is most most likely is uh, you will hurt somebody you love. You hear a sound downstairs and uh, it could be your wife who has the munchies and uh, tries tries to make a sandwich. Could be your kid uh, getting late home from what whatever teenagers do. You think it's a burglar, you grab, you, you try to scare him away, but nobody gets hurt. If you do, if you do it this with a real gun, there is a good chance you will uh, hurt or even kill your partner or child by accident. And to all people who say that would never happen to me, I'm trained in this. This happens a lot every year all over the world. So yeah, it's better safe than sorry. Try to scare the people away. And that's also very important because if you, if there is a perpetrator, a trespasser, a burglar coming to your property and yeah, you, in my opinion, as somebody goes over your property, you have the you have the right for self defense. You may you are allowed to use for lethal force on them. In my opinion, but that does not make that that does not say that there will not be consequences. Because if you have a real gun and you shoot a bur a burglar a perpetrator, uh, he, this could be the biggest asshole scumbag around. He will still have friends. He will still have family. He will still have a partner who will now will seek revenge on you because yeah you shot him even though he was doing something illegal or do doing something criminal or something bad you shot him and people are not forgiving for shooting their friends and their partners so now you have 10 perhaps 10 people will come after you because you you even though you're in your right and you did self-defense they will come after you if you scare them away with something like this there there is less chances somebody will get hurt and somebody will get a revenge uh, will try to seek revenge upon you. So that's another thing to keep in mind about blank guns. So yeah, and another thing is uh, for like the reasons I said for uh, scaring uh, aggressors, uh, people away, or burglars or marauders, whatever. If you take a blank gun with your bug out bag, by the way, only do this when shit really hit the fan because yeah, poli if the police catch catch uh, caught you with this, you are going to be arrested. Uh, no doubt, no doubt about it. But if the authorities, like if you at a refugee camp, uh, a checkpoint, a police patrol, if they ca caught you with this in your bug out bag, then there will be less legal consequences because you can say it for my self defense. I will. I was not planning to hurt somebody because this is a blank pistol. That's another benefit of it. And yeah, I would say cal take the calculated risk uh, during certain scenarios. Don't do this in regular times. Please uh, don't do anything illegal or stupid. Uh, yeah. So uh, now I will, you know what, I will give a little demonstration about these things because for some people they are perhaps not convinced. There are two types of uh, cartridges here. This is for in the revolver. This is a 9mm uh, cartridge that is uh, uh, flat down without a bullet. And it is an, an 8mm cartridge for in the pistol. Uh, so I will fire a few times to see how realistic it is and also for one thing that you need to watch out for ah, by the way, I'm in my basement uh, So this will be louder, but imagine 
even outside, this will be loud. I have to do it inside, otherwise some pass, pass, uh, some people who pass by or or uh, who are going ar along my house, they might hear it. So that's the reason why I must do this in my basement. Ear protection, don't forget. That's always very, very, very important, especially in closed space, space like this. Uh, let's first do the revolver. Uh, you load it just like a regular revolver. I will only put, uh, use one bullet with this. As you can see, uh, it just works like a regular revolver. So, this is the first test. Uh, test. Uh, demonstration on how realistic this will sound. Imagine if you're a burglar and you and you want to get into a house and you hear this sound. And by the way, it's not because it's a blank revolver that it's not dangerous. Like, I wear my glasses because there will be burnt gunpowder uh, flying around. The sound is deafening, so always wear ear protection when you do this. And always watch out, like, this is also with a blank revolver. Like with a the pistol, there is a ventil where the gas can expand out of it, so never Never keep your hand above this or something burn, uh, something that could burn. The same thing goes if you for your surroundings. If there is something flammable, flammable like curtains, uh, a chemical product, uh, perhaps some spilled gasoline or something that could burn the how do you say this? The burnt gunpowder could ignite it. So there is a fire hazard with firing this. So watch out for this. All right. So, as you can see, uh, this has been fired now. Uh, you saw how realistic that, that sound, the smoke, the flash, and uh, of course the sound. That's, this will deter uh, any, um, I would say most of the trespassers uh, around. So that was the revolver. To be, to be honest, I found this is one of my favorite, favorite. Why? Because it's simple to maintain. Uh, because it does not have, to have, have many moving parts, it's easy to clean, and it's very re reliable. In contrary to what you're going to see in the next in the next pistols, um, yeah, that's uh, the thing about the revolver. And one more thing I want to notice: if you uh, do always try, if you're going to point this to somebody to scare them away, uh, there is a certain, like you can see, the barrel is closed from a certain length. So if you put it right in front of their eyes. Uh, they will notice that it's not a real gun, so keep your distance. Do not point it directly towards them. Always, like, if you're going to to uh, keep some a burglar onto the ground, say, don't point it, point it directly at them. Keep it a little bit down, and that way you have a more control over them that they cannot see it. And yeah, it's just say, a basic gun safety. And always keep your finger off the trigger if you're not going to shoot. All right, uh, next one. This is the Beretta model. Uh, this is semi-automatic, uh, as you're going to see. And uh, yeah, if you, I will show you, I'm going to fire off two bullets. The first one uh, will fire, the second one will be the last one, and it will be going back backwards like a real gun. So yeah, let's write this on, on one out. Uh, always uh, carefully how you load this. If you're going to put too much bullets into this uh, magazine, there is a chance that the, that the spring will be pushed uh, pushed a little bit down too much after a while, and that could uh, be uh, problematic for feeding the cartridges. And yet again, don't put too many bullets if you're going to keep it around for a loading, uh, because if, if you want to catch it into uh, within a minute, if there if you notice a burglar. Because the same thing goes for the spring. And last thing, uh, this is something I've forgotten to say. If you if you have something like this lying around, a real uh, there is are so many accidents every year by children picking this up and fire it at somebody, and somebody's get killed. With a blank pistol, you do not have this problem. If your child is a little bit nosy, troublesome, find this thing, is able to load it, and yeah. Will play uh, Willem Tell with an apple on his brother's head. So that's something, uh, also a benefit about blank pistols against real pistols for your family's safety. Safety off.
there was a little bit problem with the spring. This is like I said, uh, could be problematic with certain uh, mechanical parts of the pist of the pistols that are more sensitive to uh, uh, how do we say it? what is the Eng English term for uh, a not fired round? You know what I mean. So at the magazines, the bullets are flying around here somewhere. So watch out for those. Those can be very hot. If you that you do not get them into your shirt or in somebody else's eyes that is somewhere around. So this uh, the what I like about the Beretta uh, is you can load it with the with a magazine, but if the magazine is broken, like you put too many bullets in it or you let it in too long, so the spring is a little bit uh, uh, busted. You can still load single uh, bullet by bullet, just. Uh, on the top of the of a of an open sled, so that's why the why the Beretta was actually designed this way, so you can fit bullet by bullet if the magazine is busted. So that is the last one. That is uh, it's not loaded by the way. That is the Glock uh, uh, blank pistol. I do not like this. Uh, you saw probably saw this into my video about uh, things that I regret, survival gear that I regret to buy, and you will know in a minute why. Uh, I will show you, I will not tell you, so you can see it yourself. Two bullets in the magazine. Hmm. Weird. All right, that is uh, actually a fail of showing a fail, because usually when I fire this uh, this pistol, there there is usually a problem with with a so-called stovepipe. What does this mean? It means that the sled is too heavy, does not reach too far, and the cartridge that is spanned out is stuck between the feeding lips. So after every every shot, I should uh, take it out, magazine out. Uh, put the sled back uh, so that the bullet will get out. Put it in, load it again. But this time it will not. It it, it does not happen. So that's kind of weird. <sighs> so yeah, but with this model, uh, it's not really reliable in my opinion. But eh, it's better than nothing. So, and then there is uh, one last thing that you will know that you need to know about guns like this, and that is. Uh, you need some maintenance with these uh, things because like uh, like you like I said before there is the ventil gas uh, where the gas is escapes so that the barrel will not explode in your face so always make sure that this is open and clear you can do this with uh, some clean some maintenance and cleaning tools uh, by uh, putting this in uh, because it does not fire a bullet or as an open barrel, then the most of the gunpowders that is burnt will stay in this. So after even if you shot one one bullet, it's actually basic gun safety uh, maintenance. Actually, after shooting even one gun, you have to take it apart. You have to take the burnt gunpowder out of it because it's very corrosive. It will start to to put some corrosion uh, some corrosion into the barrels. And it will make it. It will make a lot of. Uh, it will make it a lot harder to fire next bullet because the bullets cannot get into the chamber properly, or can be extracted out, or perhaps there will be some uh, fractures into the material of the barrel after a certain time because the material is weakened by corrosion, and it can poof, explode and you get metal into your face. So that's not also not good, and especially with a. The revolver, you do not have many maintenance, just clear, clean every part of it and usually it will work 9.9 .9 out of 10 times. But with a pistol, if you if you skip one uh, cleaning, there is a big chance that the next time your gun will not uh, function that well anymore. So yeah, and always oil, oil it after using it, it's just basic gun maintenance. Um, yeah, I forgot something to, to tell you. Uh, another point that I forgot to tell uh, blank pistols are a very good training tool 
uh, for preppers and perhaps for your partner and for children before you handing them over a real gun. So yeah, you can train them, uh, train them to learn to handle it uh, in a safe way. Like don't put your finger on the trigger. Don't uh, uh, take it out of the holster the right way. Maintenance. Uh, learn to deal with the stress because of the of the when you fire it, a person who does not fire many guns, they will be a little bit scared, stress. So that's a way to get a little bit used to by it. Um, yeah, and yeah, they if they make a mistake, it's usually not out that big of a consequence in st uh, in contrary to a real pistol. So yeah, I'm going to to clean uh, the the rest of this uh, gun. So. I just wanted to tell you that blank pistols are a good asset for self-defense for a prepper, especially for protecting your house, your family, uh, in a way that not many people die. Uh, and that's what it's all about, about surviving. So thank you for watching, leave a like. If you have any other uses or perhaps some other thoughts about blank pistols and revolvers, let me know in the comments. I'm always interested to learn and learn other perspectives or something that you can do. Uh, you can do say something like you can make use a blank pistol to make to to make a fire in in distress to make an emergency signal towards rescue groups by firing it three times, which is a uh, usually the co uh, international code for uh, uh, rescue, and some or something to to scare away birds from uh, your garden or something. These are all things that that are possibly possible to do. Or you can use it as a way, a sort of booby trap. Like you can uh, take your, you can take your gun, uh, set it on, uh, set it outside during your bug out, or just on your property terrain, and you can make an improvised gun. If somebody walks past past uh, court, the court will activate a trigger and it will fire a shot, and you know, oh, uh, oh, there is somebody there, or they, it's just to scare them away because a trespasser. Uh, here's a shot next to him. He will not stay there. He will run away. And that's also a sort of determined uh, tool. So yeah, I talked enough. So leave uh, leave your thoughts in the comments. Leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Cheers.